Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah and day eight of the Christmas Craft Countdown where I'm sharing 20 festive themed Cricut projects in 20 days. Half of the projects are designed by me and half are guest designer projects from some of my crafting friends. Today's project is by Natalie of NellyDesign.com and it's these cute Christmas gift card holders. Natalie's mission is to help you create with confidence with your Cricut. She loves to laugh and firmly believes that there are no problems, only solutions. She's there to simplify your crafting journey and get you creating with confidence with your Cricut. These gift card holders are a quick and easy craft to make, but they really transform giving a gift card into something spectacular. Two designs are included, a stocking and a Santa hat. Let's get started. The files for this project are free for the next 24 hours. Here's how to download them. First, register a free ticket for the Christmas Craft Countdown at craftwithsarah.com forward slash Christmas 23. Click any of the buttons on the page and enter your name and email to register. If you're already registered, check for an email from me with subject line Christmas Craft Countdown ticket information or any of the other emails from me that you have been sent throughout the countdown. Can't find them? Check your junk or spam box to see if they've gone there by mistake. These emails contain the link to view the countdown projects and download today's files. Scroll down the page to find today's project. Click the button to start the files automatically downloading to your computer or mobile device. Each download is only available for free for 24 hours after it goes live. If you've missed some, check out the Instant Access Bundle at craftwithsarah.com forward slash Christmas 23 bundle, which gives immediate and ongoing access to all of the files from the Christmas Craft Countdown, plus loads of extra bonus designs. All downloads come in zip folders. You need to unzip them before you can upload the files into Cricut Design Space. Hi everyone, my name is Natalie and I'm the crafty girl behind the blog and YouTube channel NellyDesign.com where my goal is to help you create with confidence with your Cricut. Today we will be making a Christmas gift card holder. It's a little special one because it looks like a Christmas hat and when you pull on it, well the gift card is inside the hat. How do you like that? <laughs> so for this project I have two piles of materials right here. I'm going to show it to you. It's pretty easy. You can really just use cardstock and please do use what you have on hand. So I have regular cardstock in red and beige and I'm going to explain to you why I chose beige and not white but you can totally use white. You'll know everything later. <laughs> to apply on the Cricut mat because you're going to need a Cricut green mat or a blue if it's you have a one that really sticks. I usually use my brayer. I like to use it to really apply the cardstock well on the mat. It helps. And I also got out all the glitter cardstock that I had. So really, if you want to use it, this is the time. Um, I have some glitter cardstock like this, all the colors. What I found also is even, it's called Bejewel Sampler Sparkle Paper. So this is another great option that you could use for this project. And of course, you're gonna need glue <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but as you can see, I have this other pile right here. This pile is optional. So I wanted to use a uh, glitter iron-on for this on the top and so I was using some smart glitter iron-on so I'm going to use also my little mini press, weeding tools, scissors and a little bit of heat resistant tape with my Cricut uh, easy press mat. This is optional. I don't know if you knew that you could put iron-on on, on cardstock, but you can. So this might be another option if you want to use some things that you have on hand. So when you download the project for this video, you will get a zip file. A zip file is a compressed file that you'll need to unzip. So to do this, you just need to go and double click on the zip file. And I believe that if you are on Apple, this will automatically unzip the file. But if you're on a PC like me, you're going to need to extract all right here. And then find the folder where you want to save it. I'm just going to extract it right here. Then you're going to find a folder that is not zipped anymore, so there's no little zipper on it. And you can even delete the folder that has a zip on it. So I'm going to delete it. And you are left with this folder. You're going to open it. And inside you're going to find 
uh, three files. So the DXF file is for Silhouette owners, the PNG file is just for you to visualize the file, and you're gonna find the SVG files. I always write SVG at the end, so this is the one we're gonna import in Design Space. So in Design Space, when I click on a new project, I'm gonna click Upload, we're gonna upload image, we're gonna browse and go find the file on the computer. So as I said, it's the SVG that we want to choose. So open, you can write a name, add tags, it's totally optional. And we're gonna click on upload. Select the file and add to Canva. First thing you wanna do is always ungroup so that you're left with only the groups that I've made for you. So once you have ungroup, when you see another group, that usually means that you'll need to attach this. So let me explain a little bit what's inside the SVG. You'll have the Christmas hat on one side and you'll see two of them because we want to make both sides to really glue them together like this and be able to insert the gift card inside. So that's why they are like kind of mirrored. And the thing you'll need to attach is the gift card holder. So it's a little rectangle here with the little marks that will enable you to put the gift card inside. Right away, while it's selected, we're gonna click on attach for this one. There's really nothing more to do at this point. So I just wanna show you something though. If I zoom in a little bit, uh, I just wanna show you why you might have a little bit more trouble if you're using glitter cardstock as opposed to iron-on. Uh, not a lot, it's just a little bit because you see those little swirls. There's one here, there's one here they are floating in the middle. They are not attached to the border of the hat. So that means that if you cut it with glitter cardstock, you're gonna remove your pattern, your design, and then you're gonna be left like with those little swirls on your mat that you'll need to go and put one by one by hand. But it's like only three or four. So it's not really that bad, but you could use uh, also glitter iron-on. Uh, the reason I'm using this glitter iron-on particularly, it's because I don't like glitter iron on on my shirts. <laughs> I don't know about you, but glitter is really uh, scratchy. So when you put it on your shirt, it goes like, I don't know, I hate it. It gives me chills. So I have glitter iron on, so might as well use it. And that's why I'm gonna be using glitter iron on for this project. And I wanna show you how you can put glitter iron on on cardstock, but you can totally take anything else that you have, really take something you have on and if you want. So we're gonna hit make it. And you're gonna see that uh, there, this is not really a good placement. <laughs> so of course I'm going to put it better than this. So I can really come here and move it around. Even the second one is on another mat. I'm not really sure why. So I'm gonna move it, put it on the first one with this one because I'm gonna cut all of this the same um, color. And I can even like this rotate it a little bit so it fits perfectly right here and I'm gonna be able to fit this one right here that's really more efficient so the second mat won't be necessary this one as I said I want to do it in iron-on what do we do when we cut iron-on we need to mirror so this one is gonna be mirrored for me and also I will be using some smart iron-on so for this one instead of a mat I'm gonna go without a mat and I know it's not the right color, but it's okay. If you really prefer, you can uh, totally put the right color before in the Canva, no problem. And finally, the red. Can I optimize this a little bit? I don't think I can. Maybe a bit like this. So for the first mat, the cardstock I'm using is medium cardstock. So I'm going to select uh, the medium cardstock that is in the popular materials right here. And let's install this on the mat. So for the white mat, I decided to do it as a little bit of a, a beige tone. Um, this is to go with my gold, because first I really, really wanted to do it with a glitter, um, a white glitter. I thought, oh, white on white, it would be so beautiful. But I didn't have any white glitter iron on. So just do as I did, try to use what you have on end and just adapt maybe, because I thought I cannot go and buy some white glitter iron-on, that, that doesn't make any sense. So let's use what I have. I have gold glitter iron-on and I'm sure it's gonna look very good. So I'm gonna put my uh, beige cardstock on the mat and I often use a brayer to make sure that it adheres properly to the mat. And I'm gonna insert it and Press the go button. I will be doing the same thing for the red, same process. I'm just gonna show you what to do with the smart iron-on right after. So 
So for the smart iron-on, you're gonna put, as always, for iron-on, shiny side facing down. So it's gonna go that way in the Cricut. In design space, I just wanna show you, you're gonna browse all materials, and since we selected no mat, well, there's not a lot of options. So smart iron-on is here, but make sure you select glitter, as it is glitter iron-on. Then you just need to align it like that and load it. So now it's done, I'm gonna unload it. I'm gonna cut all the way around it and I'm gonna weed everything that I don't want. So I've got all my pieces here and as you could see, uh, weeding the iron-on all probably took more time than just uh, piecing together the, if I had cut it in uh, the glitter cardstock. So really, it really doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm sure your project will be beautiful. Now, all the pieces are here. Make sure you have them uh, together and on the right side so that they fit perfectly together because we're going to glue them one in the back, one in the front, and we want them to fit perfectly. If you're not sure, just look into design space. You'll see what side is the pattern. And you hear my mini press that is just ready. I've set it to the lowest temperature and to iron on, some iron on onto cardstock. It's really like 20 to 25 seconds, that's what it says. But really you just need to make sure it is well attached to the cardstock. You don't need to overread it. It's not gonna go in the washer or dryer. So you just need really to make sure it sticks to it. So I'm going to cut the two pieces separately. It's going to be easier that way. And really this one is going to go here. So I need to make sure it's going to be easier for me to just put it like that and align it really like that on the back side. And if it's not sticking and you're scared that it's going to move, what you can do is really use some, some heat resistant tape. Make sure it's heat resistant. It's really especially made for the heat. So I'm just going to put a little bit on that side. I'm even going to cut it really just, just so that it sticks together and that I'm sure it won't move while I'm heating it with my mini press. So the important thing also is really to wait till it's cool to touch to remove the liner. You're going to make sure that this, that it is really, uh, that it sticks there properly that way. So if you see some places like this that it does not stick, well, then there's absolutely no problem. Just reapply it like this and add a little heat and there's absolutely no problem to this. It, it happens because I probably didn't go all the way to the border. Okay, so we're ready to glue everything together. What I want to show you, I have some glue with a little fine point tip that is really helpful. And since the card is going to go inside like this, we don't want to put any glue right here. No glue. We're going to need to glue on the side only. No glue on the straight line. Next step, we're going to go for the gift card. Um, I have a gift card here. I just wanted to show you how it fits inside. So you can really put it like this. So the gift card is right here. And what we need to do is really to glue this inside of both layers so that it's, it pulls out when we pull this out. Again, you don't want to put any glue right here. Let me make sure you understand too close to the border because we don't want this border to slide above the hat, so on top of the hat, so that it fits like it's really on top. So it's going to really need to go like this and this is going to need to go inside. So that's the only tricky part really. <laughs> the card fits like this, so you're going to insert it and make sure it goes as far as you can put it in the hat. Then we're gonna put this right here 
and put this right here. So once you've positioned this like this, it's very easy to glue. So before testing it, I'm gonna let it dry a bit and I'm gonna glue this instead. So same same thing, just put it under it and I'm gonna put this one on top. So while this is under it, you can really visualize what it how it goes with this part. So let's see the final test. Yay, it works! <laughs> so to put it back inside, just make sure you slip it inside the two layers. It's really easy and make sure um, this goes each side of the hat and you're good to reuse it over and over again. If you want, you could also put the name of the person you want to add with other, another glitter iron-on or just glitter cardstock on it. You can really do whatever you want. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I have another file that I have as a bonus for you. If you want to download it, the link will be below this video. Um, find my bonus file. This is like the same principle but with uh, stocking. So as you can see, I did it in white with glitter cardstock, white glitter cardstock. So I don't know which one you like best. I, I really can't decide for myself. So uh, the, it's the same principle. So when you pull it out, you'll have the place to put your gift card also right here. So don't hesitate to go and download this bonus file. And I hope to see you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make Christmas gift card holders. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more Cricut crafts and festive fun. Don't forget, the link to get the cut files for this project is craftwithsarah.com forward slash Christmas 23, but they are only free to download for 24 hours after this video goes live. I hope to see you tomorrow for day 9 of the Christmas craft countdown. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!